daily jobs to do list. These are great. People reckon that if you've got a jobs to do list, you get twice as much done. Why is that? I think the answer is it focuses you a little bit more. So normally you might only have perhaps 5% of your day spent on box three. But if you've got a list that says, you know, write a letter to so-and-so, phone him, do this or whatever, then you're going to be thinking, oh, I must phone that guy. And that 5% perhaps becomes 10% then, and you've doubled the amount of useful stuff you've achieved. So some sort of jobs to-do list every day will really help you get things done. Your jobs to-do list initially will probably be a lot of box two hassily type things, little things that are urgent but not that important. But what, what you'll find if you have a jobs to-do list every day is that it will really help a lot and very rapidly you'll bang through all those easy tasks and you'll start to not have all that much to put on your list. And then it starts to really come into its own because then you can start to move some box three tasks across from your master list onto your daily list. So let's suppose, for example, on your master list, you've got learn Italian. On your daily list, you might think, well, I want to, I want to make a start on that Italian project. So yeah, today I'm going to read chapter one of the book. So you just take a little chunk across and you just say, read chapter one of the Teach Yourself Italian book. So you can start to chip away at some of those big things that are on your master list. So your daily list has little urgent hassly box twos, but it also has some box threes. And you should do a daily list every day as a habit. Don't stop doing it if you're having a quiet day, because that's just when it would really come into its own and you'd start to chip into the box threes. So every day, a daily list. What time of day should you write it? Well, some people like to write this in the morning when they first get to work or whatever. Personally, I like to do mine at the end of the day. So I write down all the loose ends I haven't done and I can then go home safe in the knowledge that everything's under control, there's nothing swilling around in my head, and when I come in in the morning, I'm going to have a nice plan ready for my day. So I'd recommend doing it at the end of your day. That also makes it easier to commit yourself to anything that you might put off because you can say, right, tomorrow I'm definitely going to do it, and you can put it on your list. So jobs to-do list at the end of the day, every day. And it should be small. It should only have maybe half a dozen, ten at the most, items on it. So it could just be a scrap of paper. But again, it could be on Outlook or whatever. It could be um, in a little personal organiser in your pocket. It doesn't really matter as long as you've got a daily list and you should have it every day.